Randy Filio, Keene City Councilor of Art. Um, as, as for what the letter says, uh, Mr. Chairman, um, is concerning the graffiti, in the, especially in the downtown area, um, this is something uh, not new, um, gone on you know, for, for several years, really. Uh, recently, it just seems the amount of graffiti and the, the aggressive nature of some of the comments of the graffiti is really starting to get out of hand. Um, a lot of personal comments, a lot of attacking comments, people's names being used in graffiti. Um, and I, I honestly don't think downtown's the place for this, um, especially in the historic district, which is where I would prefer if we were to, um, to enact the graffiti ordinance with um, basically adding, chalking to sidewalks, crossways, uh, and things of that nature. I know some people like to think of it as, well, we just play games out there and things like that. That, that, that's probably from the truth. This graffiti is harmful, it's, it's direct, it's very condescending, and um, some people are hiding under the umbrella of, of free speech, and um, free speech uh, does have its limitations. Now, as far as the common, uh, Mr. Chairman, that's always been the, uh, the center of Keene for people allowing free speech, people including myself, have, uh, stood out there and held signs. But even with the ordinance of, of signs, which does allow free speech, even with that comes restrictions. You know, as you know, signs cannot be um, mounted to any particular tree or, or monument or anything downtown. They cannot be put on the ground and left there. If somebody wants to exercise their free speech on the common or anywhere downtown, you hold the sign, you show the sign, you leave with your sign. You do not, you know, put it on trees, you do not put it on the ground. The problem I have now with the graffiti that's going on there, that's exactly what's going on. But we're not just talking about vote for this person or I love this person. We are talking about some very harmful words that's left behind, um, especially in the historic district. Now, as you know, many of you, you know, on this council voted to put the downtown area into a historic district for the reason of the history of it and the businesses in it and the people that we try to pull into downtown Keene. What is going on now with, with a lot of this graffiti going on? It's done in front of uh, merchants. Um, you know, it's, it's done in front of individuals. This does nothing to help draw business into downtown Keene. As a matter of fact, it's a deterrent. Um, the downtown area, especially the common, was designed for everybody to go in <clears throat> without intimidation. That is out the window right now, in my opinion, from what I've seen. I spend a lot of time downtown. Um, so once again, with the free speech part, it does not it, it, it does not hold back the free speech. You're still allowed to go there and hold your signs and whatever opinion that you want. You like chalking? Get out some chalk and write out a sign. I like chalk. Hold it out, follow the ordinance, take it home. Simple. Um, and all one has to do, Mr. Chairman, is look around it. Just not around the country, just in New Hampshire. And I'm not going to pick any particular cities, but there's a bunch of them in New Hampshire that their downtowns have gone. And the reason for that is. They didn't pay attention to little details. When you don't pay attention to little details, you're not going to pay attention to the big details. And the next thing you find yourself is in downtown with empty storefronts, um, there's people just hanging out, you know, nothing being spent in economy down the tubes. You don't have to go too far from Keene to find that. 